Hello, this is tutorial 6 for Simple Traffic System version 1.0.7. And in the last video, we used the spline based route creator tool to create this four lane road section. Let's go ahead and set up this section for lane changing. So, to do that, we need to select our AI traffic controller and toggle on enable lane changing. From there, we can turn on configure mode and enable the lane connector. Go ahead and load the routes. At the end of each route, the final route point will have an R button. Go ahead and click the R button for the two adjacent routes that you want to connect together. And what will happen when we press the setup lane changing is that it goes through the waypoints and the routes and it assigns the lane change points automatically and it'll just iterate through the route as long as the routes have equal number of waypoints and they're all adjacent to each other which if you're using the spline creator tool they will be it'll come out the same way that it came out for me so the only issue that i really see is that i have a few too many points they're a little close in some of these sections this is just an example. So when you're actually creating your routes, try to have even spacing between all of your points. It shouldn't cause any issue though. So let me just connect these last two routes. And then I can unload the routes and turn off the lane connector. I'll go ahead and press play. And just as a a little bit of info. So what happens is each of these cars has three sensors. It has a forward sensor and two side sensors, one on the left and one on the right. So when the car detects a car in front of it, like this car is behind right now and he, his sensor is not touching the other car, so it's not red. I'll go ahead and I'll unpause and we could try to see if we could find a car Okay, right over here. Well, I think that's the same car. Now he's getting closer. So we'll see that his sensor will turn red, but he's not going to lane change because there's a car on the right side of him. So this car will likely lane change because there was no car on the side of him. And those are the basic rules that it follows. And that's how you set up lane changing for your routes.